I close my eyes and start to reminisce. I recall the everyday things that happened today, what I ate, what I saw, what I talked about. Putting those memories into words brings sparkles to its large eyes. So I can tell that it wants to hear lots of stories, however, it is one of few words. Perhaps because it's we're it's because we're different. I'm human and it's not. It wasn't. There's nothing wrong with that statement. Of course, if it weren't for that, this place would be nothing more than a secluded and slightly strange school. But... It is a pretty weird school, mostly because of the people in it, but, you know, I'll leave that aside. あ、例えばそうだな。うん。あ、手にしてしまうと無理やり歌わせる楽譜とか。そういうのは最後どうするの?封印するんだよ。暴れないように。封印。札でな。こうやってビシッと動かないように。Sorry. <laughs> I like how it apologizes. I extend my arm and keep it at eye level. This time I'm not holding a talisman. I wonder though, is Morphe really a mist? Or... Hmm. I don't know. I would imagine there's like magical creatures in a world that has magic stuff, right? Can she just not be a mist? I'm gonna be honest too, the other reason I suspect that she's not a mist, and this is gonna sound really stupid, but nothing bad has happened yet. <laughs> is that is that bad of me to say? Like literally like nothing has gone wrong. <laughs> and every mist seems to get us into trouble. Nani ga? Is that the key of Yanis? I'll say the key of Yanis got us into trouble more just because people were using it. Not really necessarily the mist itself doing anything, you had to be the one to do that. Something suddenly comes to mind. I'm talking to a mist right now. Looks like it's having fun and it's even capable of intelligent thought. Um, uh, so with Miss, I'm trying to remember, and that, this might have already been explained, I'm just, I'm forgetting. Do you impart some of your mana into the Miss to create it? I'm, I'm assuming that's the case, right? Like whoever, you know, originally made it in the first place would have instilled magic into it. So is it possible that in doing so, we kind of learned, I think, from some past experiences that you kind of impart maybe a little bit of your personality, per se? I mean, could this have been part of the personality of the creator of the mist? If we're gonna go on the basis that she is a mist. I don't know. Doesn't seem like Morphe talks to anyone regularly. Rather, I'm getting the impression that it's not used to talking to others. It's a powerful mist, yes, yet it doesn't give off that vibe at all. There's nothing menacing about it either, it's actually making me worry instead. I don't know, that's why I was kind of wondering though, if it is a mist. I don't... 
I don't know, we haven't really met a lot of, like, creatures that weren't created by mist, you know? Like, we have those things that exist uh, where the magic circle is, but... もう、あれ Oh yeah, we gotta see what's going on with this chick. できた。あとは Please don't tell me that's blood. <laughs> well, she failed chemistry. <sighs> no, I got a sense of this. Why? Why? Why do you have to? Why? Why can't you just put the more clothes on? It's it's not it's not meant to be you know arousing. It's just it's just there. Yeah, can you just build people now? Name it after your pet that just died? I feel like that's very morbid. Hmm. I'm guessing this is one of those uh, homunculus things where you're like combining something to make something that's artificial. Trying to move my camera back. There we go. Hopefully that didn't mess up anything else. あ、ちゃんはお名前じゃないの。可愛い子につける呼び方。はい。と。じゃあ、ピー。くすじさんはピーが合ってる。うん。青い。そう呼んでね、ピーちゃん。え、わかった。おいでピーちゃん。Oh boy, this is a recipe for disaster, isn't it? This isn't gonna be this isn't gonna be good. <coughs> Class was started today like every other day, and just like yesterday, the proceeding without incident. In other words, it's been another peaceful day where we haven't had to do anything. Oh just wait. Doing what? I don't listen very well sometimes, I'm sorry. After heaving a sigh, Omaru repeats what he was talking about. Yeah, it's that thing, the uh homunculi. Homunculi. Yep, that's that's what that other thing is, that little girl I bet. In the girl on the butler. If she wasn't, they wouldn't be coming to the library that often. Are they just reading up on the topic since they don't know how to make one? I have no idea. But, 
that butler. <laughs> His face pops up in my head. <laughs> Gosh, this looks like one of those 90s posters, you know, where it has, like, the person or, like, a lot of people do with their pets, and then it has, like, the, the kind of faded one in the background. <laughs> He's normally expressionless, but sometimes the expressions he shows for fractions of a second are outrageous. Not too sure about their relationship. Mm -hmm. The girl's supposed to be his mistress, and yet he sometimes is not listening or saying random things to her. Mm -hmm. He's totally in control here. But, but, Cute. Ooh. Okay. So, so you image a night, Deba. Oh. Hoemashi. Nanka Saikin so moetic than that, Deba. Since when were you such a smooth talker? I'm hoping it stays at just heartwarming, though. This was a way of escalating things. Well, it should be fine as long as we don't find any familiars or homunculi walking around. Don't worry, we have plenty of time to change that. What about those things? Remember those creatures I told you about in the other world? Oh good, we're acknowledging these. Okay, I was wondering about it. Because see, these are kind of the only look we've had at like different creatures. Those monsters in the world with the magic circle were definitely not from this earth. If they were actually familiars or homunculi here, maybe they'd be like that. Yeah, fair enough. I, I, I don't blame you there. If we ran into them out of the blue, Amara might just faint. I guarantee you they'll be the first to get eaten if you make that face. I don't know. They're not allowed to eat my boy now that I've seen him as my girl. You know what I'm saying? Freaking, I can't believe Amara was one of the best girls in this freaking... I can't believe it. Ooh, Ooh more Louie. Since the library is in the basement, it's somewhat dim even during the day. Miss the massive bookshelves, Louie is walking around carrying several books. So, なものを調べてどうするつもりです。ハーデルハイトさんの許可なしにおしゃべりはいけませんか？まさか。He's like, bitch, what you mean? Of course I can disclose it. <laughs> he's he's his own man or woman. I don't know. He kind of seems like he might be a woman. I don't know. I just look under his arm as if to hide their covers. I already know what they are, in spite of that. ヒョーミがあるだけです。単なる知的好奇心ならば構いません。ここの蔵書が魅力的なことは私にもわかります。白学でいらっしゃる。知識を満足させるだけ。はい。実践しようなどと思わないことです。who will be the one to speak first? The atmosphere is chilly and tense. You're not going to be able to do anything. I'm not going to be able to do it. Yeah, I think Ushio is right to be looking into it. If he's going to be doing something potentially dangerous, then she needs to be aware of it and make sure that, uh, Things don't get out of control. まるで警告のようですね。へ、その通りです。あなた方を巻き込むつもりはありませんよ。では、失礼いたします。It was a gentle yet distant tone of voice. His figure disappears amidst the bookshelves on the opposite side. つもりだけでは困るのですけどね。Dang. Okay, Ushio. Okay. Ah, I'm always sleepiest at this time of day. The first recess of the afternoon. Yeah, that's same here. I always get tired. It's like sometime in the afternoon. I'm trying to think of what time it usually is. Like anywhere between like 1 and like 4. 
pile because I've had sometimes when it's like four o'clock and I'm just like so tired and I can't I can't stand it. First recess of the afternoon. Full from eating lunch, making it the drowsiest part of my day. Not the only one though, from the looks of it, most of the class is feeling the same way. Hmm. <sighs> Yoshio seems pretty depressed. She looks a bit pale too. And literally all these characters look pale. He's still feeling the uh, after effects of that mist. The one that lets you dream about whatever you want. I'll try casually asking her about her dreams. Her face seems kind of pale, not getting enough sleep. <laughs> I feel like that's not like the nicest thing to just say to somebody. <laughs> I, I know Japan's a little bit more um, aware of, of saying stuff like that, you know, kind of being direct. Yeah, it's true. By the way, I've been having some awful dreams lately. Oh, I feel so mean not letting her know what the dream is about. A fun dream, huh? Well, it did seem kind of fun. Oh, that's right. She wanted to dream about her parents. Being away from them is probably making her feel homesick. Tell oh, Maya that Sora... Feeling, we'll throw a party sometime. Huh. Should we be direct like that? Is that a smart move? Or distracting her by throwing a party? I kind of want to see what the first option is going to go. I want to see how that's going to play out. Hey, Kiro Donnie, come here for a bit. What? I think Yoshida is feeling homesick. Find some way to cheer her up. Oh, what a good friend. I, I, Maya is such a great character. I really, I really enjoy Maya. Like, obviously she's comedic relief. That's, that's her character role, right? But like, she like genuinely is a good friend. Oh, we're out of time. <laughs> Feels like we're on a game show. It's now become the only thing on her mind. Well, at least Yoshi has regained some energy, so that's good. The relief that the after effects of the mist are all but gone. I'm really surprised there wasn't more to that. I was kind of thinking we would have to kind of help her, you know? <clears throat> it has become routine to come here. Here is quite the wonderful place. I wish I could stay here forever. If only I could take all the knowledge uh, available here. Rui! Rui! Here is here. No response. Even so, I know that Louis is here. <laughs> I know he's around somewhere. Where are you? There's nowhere else that person could be. He looks like he's sleeping. Oh, he's definitely like trying to get the sleeping. Oh, he's definitely Interesting. I, I am curious about the relationship when she puts it like that. What is with that person? I don't know. Saying with that person makes it kind of seem detached. Like they're a stranger. Like you don't know them. Um, I wonder what... I, I really want to know more about what their story is. Anger wells up within me. I'm not sure that I want to unleash it all on Louie, though. So, yeah. Well, 
Checking the time, I noticed that over an hour has passed. I've already finished reading the book I chose. そうか。<笑> ここ何の危険もないのに思いをしながら廊下を歩いていく。無駄だ、無駄。時間に失礼だと思わないのか。で、で。俺はやりたいことがあるんだ。それくらいはわかるな。見ればどんな馬鹿でもわかると思うが。クリス
not thinking about my destination at all. Suddenly, I looked down at the ground. I hadn't noticed that my shadow had become long and thin. It's evening. Evening here has a different meaning from everywhere else. I'm not allowed to wander around outside at this time, let alone getting lost. That makes me nothing more than a laughing stock. I mean, I don't think Louis wrong on a lot of things either. I just think he's very blunt and kind of just says it in a way that, that comes out hurtful. It's true. Um, but, you know, it, it doesn't make it right to do something just because, you know, you're telling the truth. You know, you can have a little bit of... Uh, well, would that be would that be empathy? Is that the right word I want to use? I tell myself that I quicken my pace and. Your whispers come from the shadows of a nearby shrub. Try to move this again so you guys can actually see. Looks like a small doll. I'm sure that it's not human. Perhaps a fairy or a spirit. My breath stops to try to figure out what it is. They called the girl clad in a school uniform for me, its master. Something's off though. I can't detect it in her any ability to summon something like this. She's an ordinary girl you'd find anywhere in this school. With teary eyes, she puts her hands together and Peach on copies her pose. There's no way I can feel any ill intent coming from her after seeing this. All the tension in my shoulders disappears. <laughs> I instinctively conceal myself once their voices and footsteps disappear as survey our surroundings. I don't see anyone around anymore. I retrieve a small bottle from my pocket. I always carry it with me so I can disinfect any injuries that occur. Putting some of the liquid onto a handkerchief, I put. Ah, uh, excuse me, I extend my hand. ごめんなさい。終わり。これは応急処置だから帰ったらきちんとやり直して頂戴ね。あ、ありがとうございます。ありがとう。えっと、あれ、アーデルハイトよ。
reach out and feel Pichon's warmth. It's proof that at the very least is a living being. <laughs> Yeah, the uniform kind of gives it away. I extend a hand and she returns my handshake without hesitation. While I'm unable to read others' hearts, I feel relieved upon seeing her shy smile. How strange, even though we met only moments ago, her smile makes me feel like I've known her for much longer. Being an ordinary girl with no knowledge of magic or magi, it's easy for her to imagine what might happen. I'm sure of it. アデルハイトさんはそういう感じじゃないって気がします。ピーちゃんを見ても驚いたり怖いっていう風にならなかったから。I feel like she was stuttering a lot. Like she was just trying to get the words out. そう。そうね。もちろん秘密は守るわ。私が青いから聞いたことやこの子のことは誰にも話しません。それを信じてもらえるなら。Aoi nods again and starts talking after gently placing Pichon on her shoulder. Ima Magical tools like mists are drawn towards those of strong desires. Even regular humans without large amounts of mana. A great number of mists exist, each with their own effects and powers. This is what the tens of thousands of books in the library have taught me. Most excellent of butlers will predict what their masters will do and prepare it for them beforehand. It'll be the reverse this time. Real quick before we jump into that. I wonder if I wonder if Louis's reasoning is good or not. Um and, and, and I mean not like if, if it's solid, but like if, if he's doing it for good purposes. If he's doing it for maybe evil purposes. I don't know. Louis kind of mean, and it makes me think that he's kind of willing to trample over other people, including his mistress, to get what he wants. And I just don't know what it is that he does want. So it makes me wonder if there's maybe some other motives going on there. And not to say necessarily that he has to be evil if he has other motives, right? Could just be personal reasons, and he just might be kind of taking out his anger, maybe his frustration on Adelheid. I'm not too sure though. It might be like a oh, you know, my family are are butlers, even though we're like technically related to yours. You know, we're considered subservient, even though we're better than you. It might be like something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I, I keep listening to her talking and that makes me think of other things. Um, the other thing that could be possible is we just were shown that, um, no human can go for that portal, and I kind of theorized that maybe, uh, Ninomai could go through there, but, uh, maybe something like this could get through the portal, too. 
because technically it's like created by a mist, so if the portal would consider it maybe a mist, and it would be allowed to pass through. Uh, so they could potentially steal other mists that way. Um, my other thoughts is maybe maybe they need a mist in order to get into the vault. Or, you know, I'm, I'm gonna call it a vault, I guess, where they're keeping all those gemstones. Okay, so is your dog. Feels like I've been stabbed in the chest. Miss respond to those of strong desires. I can't forget what that means. Nor my pride as one who comes from a line of magical practitioners. あなたとは違うの。とても研究。そういうのを学ぶ学科 I'm not lying. Yeah, you're not lying, but it seems like you're kind of using it, you know, to get closer to Louis. After leaving the mansion, everything I've seen uh, has been new to me. With the magic and spells I've learned since I was young, uh, and spells I've learned since I was young mean to others, they've been, uh, there have been many new experiences like this. <laughs> <laughs> we set a day for when to meet next and exchange pinky promises. Both Aoi's hand and Pichon's small hand were warm. I encountered the, with them was quite the wondrous one. Thought it was productive for you. After school. We're walking down the hallway heading for the bureau as usual. Hmm? Oh, sure thing. Hmm, wonder what he forgot. Maybe it was his, uh... I don't know, did they wear backpacks? I'm not sure. Leaving tomorrow, I go down to the library in the basement. What was that? A loud noise comes out of nowhere. I immediately hide behind a bookshelf. What's going on? She seemed angrier than usual, not to mention she left by herself. Seemed they were arguing several times already, but it seems a bit different this time. In spite of everything, those two are an inseparable pair. That's normal for a butler, anyway. Are they operating independently now? Louis keeps reading his book as if he couldn't care less that his mistress has left. It could just be one of their off days, but still, the girl does have a reckless side to her. I'm hoping she doesn't get caught up in any trouble. Oh, don't worry. I'm just I'm just waiting. I'm being patient, guys. It's it's coming. The the big trouble. <sighs> Getting a lot of Adelheide this episode. I didn't really expect that. Let out a sighs yesterday in the room. My preparations for having a guest, or friend, rather over, aren't going as planned. Louis was always the one to have sweets and tea ready. Yo <laughs> Upon <sighs> entering my room, she puts down the heavy-looking suitcase she was carrying. 
Pinky John leaps out from it the instant she opens it. Several glass containers crammed inside. They're not anything particularly special. These those familiar with alchemy would uh, be able to attain them easily. It's inside quite a large envelope. I open it and find a parchment of writing in an ancient script and detailed sketches. There are instructions on how to create a homoculus. All the texts I've read up until now were mainly compilations of what alchemists of the past have said. Looking up, I see that Aoi has gone pale. Pichan is lying on the floor, apparently exhausted. if they're kind of like mists where they have to be sustained with mana and she's not getting enough. Abby places Peach on top of a sofa cushion. She seems faint and her breathing is shallow. Her body temperature also feels lower than usual. Something that I read in the library comes to mind. Incomplete homoculi are unable to store mana in their own bodies so they need to supply with mana regularly they will die. Okay, so I was kind of right. Interesting how mana is kind of like a life force. Instructions here for creating homoculus are very detailed. There must be something about how to take care of an incomplete homoculus. I see. Aoi being unable to read this would have never known, as expected the treatment method is written here. The suitcase exists solely for creating homoculi. Aoi, そう。I don't know. I feel like anytime you start getting blood involved, that's not that's not good magic. <laughs> not something you want to be messing with. Making a small incision my finger, I put a drop of my blood in the receptacle. Blood shines are transformed into something else entirely within the container. Pichon gulps down the liquid that is distilled from my blood. It's clear as day with each mouthful she regains some of her vitality. Pichon dances around in order to relieve Aoi of her worries. It's almost as if the image of her lying on the ground listlessly was all in my head. I feel like that's kind of triggering, naming her after your dog that died, and then seeing her, like, look like she is dying, too. おそらくその通りね。でもこの道具があれば魔力を簡単に作ることができるから。そんなに難しくなくてよかった。
私でも覚えられそう葵一つだけんこれを使う時は必ず教えて私も手伝うわえええありがとうアーデルハイトさんピーちゃんのためにこんなにしてくれてありがとういいのよ Aoi and Pichan then talk happily about everything that happened up until now. They were ordinary, everyday things, but I couldn't help but have a smile on my face. Never would have thought that chatting about trivial matters could make the time pass so quickly. The curfew forces them to return to their dorm, as if when they arrive, Pichon is placed inside the suitcase before they leave. <sighs> Watch Aoi from behind as she carries the suitcase with her until she disappears from the distance. There should be nothing、uh, wrong with this. I have to find some way to quell the slight unease within my chest. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like there's something else going on here. A few days later. Hmm. Hmm.、Uh, I'm gonna end this episode a little bit early. I think we we had a little bit of information going on here. I think I'm gonna call it here. You know, we're gonna really、uh, dive more into this situation in the next episode because I have a feeling things are gonna go maybe south. I have a feeling there's more to this story than we're seeing. So, anyways, we have Peach on, which is a Himakuli, and then Louis looking into those. Uh, I feel like we're, we're building up to something right now. Something's gonna happen pretty soon, and we're gonna probably need Louis. Either Louis is gonna end up doing something bad, or, or you know, something selfish, or maybe he's gonna end up being the, the thing that solves a problem. And then we have Shizuka and. and、uh, what is her name? Is it Morphe? Is that, is that what he calls her? Morphe? Morphe? Okay. Yeah, we got, we got a few things building up here, and I, I kind of wanted to see if next episode really like, takes off of one of those ideas. I feel like we're just kind of in this, like, in between right now, the build up here. Anyways, guys, I'll stop talking. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.